Hello, my friend. So in this section, we are going to keep making a like and dislike feature. So our first step is to create a template for a like and dislike button by using ant design. So first, we will see our application. So first, we will make this button with ant design. So we go to our text editor. So we first go to detail video page. And then we scroll down. So inside this action here, we are going to make a like and this likes component. So first we will make this component inside the section folder. So this file name is like and dislikes and JS. And here we type RFCE and like and this like save it and we import this one uh, inside the detail video page so import it from like and dislike we copy this one out we already so we we save it first and then we go back to our Actually, we didn't turn on our application, so I will type npm one dev. So now we come to our application. So you see in here like and dislike button. But I want to move this one into it here, a left to subscribe button. So first, I will change that position by changing this order. So subscriber button we'll go to after the like and dislike button so i delete it here okay i save it I come back in here so in here and then i am going to make that prettier button so by going back to our editor and we go to our like and dislike this component so i will change in here So now we made our template for like and dislike button. So the next thing we need to do is to fetch current like and dislike information from MongoDB. So to do that, we come back in here. So we will use the use effect and delete this part and this part and we will just axios in here and it will be post request and the location will be api and like and get likes and we need to put the variable in here so we didn't define this one yet so const variable and it will be the object in here but when we put the variable actually we need to come back in here so we get actually the like and dislike button for the video and even also for the comment 
Well, first of all, I'm going to place this button inside the command part 2 real quick. So first to go to single command. And in here, we will put the light and this light component here. So we are simply to we already import it, so save it. And then we come back in here. You can even see this like and dislike button inside the command. So as I said before, so we put this like and dislike button for the video and also for the comment. So there are two places that we put this this button. So we need to separate it when just to define the this variable. So first it the props and video. So this props is this component comes from the detail video. In here we put the video props. So it will indicate it comes from the video part, and we also put uh, props inside a single command in here. Comments. So it will also indicate it comes from the comment. So we go back to like and dislike here, and then so props video it comes from the video part. So the variable will be video ID and props and video ID and then user ID and props and user ID and it comes from the command part so command ID and props and command ID and user ID and props dot user ID but we didn't just send this props from our parent component yet. So we will just first put this one in our parent component. So video ID and user ID inside this detail video page. So video ID and user ID. So where does this user ID come from? So before we use the local storage, so we are going to use it again, get item, the user ID. So video ID that comes from the, so if we scroll up, in here we already got the video ID from the query. So we get this one and put this one in here. So we put all of the paras for this like and dislike component from the detail video page. And then we also need to go to single component. And in here, we need to uh, put this command ID and user ID. For user ID, we can do the same. Guest item and user ID. And then for the command ID, we got it from the props command dot ID. So single component, the parent component is the command here. So that's why we already put this command props inside a single command. So that's why we can get this command ID with the props. So we save it. So we go back to our likes and dislike components. So we finished making this variable and we put the variable in here. Ah, we need to change this one into left. So we can just change this variable. And then we will just do then and response. Data and success and else alert fail to get likes and then we will make this router so but we don't have this route we don't have this like browse so first we are going to make this rouse inside this rouse further we say like that js and 
we get all of the scaffolding from the subscribe and then we are going to delete all the unnecessary part so we will just and uh, we but we need to import the two model which are light and dislike so we also need to change this one into like and dislike so inside here we need to make the louder but first we also need to go to index.js so we need to do like and like so you know why I am doing this so through this one we can go to this like rouse so louder and post this name was the, the pass was the get likes and we get the request and response and then and then, and then we also need to, to define the variable here separ separately for the things that come from the video and that comes from the command so that variable if request the body and video id and variable will be video id request body video id else will be variable command id and request and body and command id so we bring the like model and find and vari and variable and execute the query and error and like if error can risk status 400 and send error risk the status 200 and json success true and likes we said we need to send this information so now we go to our client in here so there are two things we need to do after being successful for the get likes first one is the how many likes does this video or comment have and the other information we want to get is so if i already click this like button or not so to get how many likes does this video or comment have that it we can just do like response and data and likes and length so we know the number of the likes that video or comment get so but we want to put this one into the uh, inside the state but we didn't make it yet so use state and likes the initial state is zero and we put this set likes in here and put this whole thing that comes from backend in here and the other information we want to get so first we will also get the data likes and then we need to do map method and we only get one like information and in here if the like and user id and the person who clicked the like button is the equal to the props and user id which is me who were logged in if this one is equal that means i already liked the like button so we need to like action initial was initial will be no so set like action is liked 
because I already clicked that like button. So now we did this for the likes button and also we need to do for the dislike button. So we copy this one and then paste it because it will be really similar. Just change the naming to so get dislikes and set this likes so we didn't have this state yet so we will make it in here this likes and this state this like action no so we change this one into set this like action and this one disliked and this one is get dislikes and this one too dislikes things so we also need to make this louder for get dislikes so go to like allows here and paste it and change the path will be get dislikes and this one will be dislikes Let's change this one as this one so now we save everything and then and, uh, and the last thing I want to do is that we want to populate the data we got from here so we populate it inside in here change it this one uh, likes and this one in this likes and then we are so to change this one into rear action and this one into rear action that comes from the state this like action so save it and go back to our application uh, i didn't change this one it has to be dislikes Mm, this likes so now we got all in well so thank you for watching this video and in our next sections uh, when we click this one we will trigger we will change this status and this number two so that's what we are going to do and i think the next video will be our last video for our youtube clone so you did really well to follow me along so really appreciate it and thank you and see you in our next section bye